What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a 2001 Toyota Avalon. We're gonna replace this EGR valve solenoid. So if you guys have any problems with the EGR valve over there, this is malfunctioning. It could be possible that your EGR valve solenoid is bad. So the part number here is Intermotor brand VS147. So I'm using the brand Intermotor. Okay, there you go. So pretty much, I changed the valve and it was giving us a code and the car was stalling and it was misfiring. And then it would be back to life again. So problem there is, it could be the solenoid malfunctioning or your EGR valve. So make sure you do replace your EGR valve. Um, so we took off these two Allen keys right here. The This size here is uh, five millimeter. Is it? Uh, yep. Number five Allen, and once you get these two guys off, you should be able to pop this open. You see, it's held in by these little guys, uh, which grab onto a notch here and a notch here. And anyways, EGR valve solenoid is pretty much right over here. Okay, so it has a fill up pass screwdriver in the back. It has a connector, and then it has two vacuum lines, just like that. You see that, how that sits? So very simple, we're gonna replace this guy. Um, to change this out, you're going to have to take off that little screw right there. So either you can uh, take off the bolt here, the 10 millimeter and 10 millimeter here, lift the whole thing up or use a vice grip, which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to disconnect the sensor right here and we're going to take off this vacuum line here. So you are going to need a needle nose to just bypass and wiggle these guys out of there. So just remember the order of the vacuum lines, okay? So this is coming straight from the EGR valve and it connects to right in somewhere in the center of the first port close to this sensor. There you go. And my friend is standing on side. He said, do it the right way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter. Make sure you don't drop it. Like I almost did. Put this baby somewhere to the side. You're also gonna take off this 10 millimeter. Don't drop it like I almost did. And these two nuts, when they come off, let's put this baby to the side. Put our electric drill to the side. You're going to take this purple looking solenoid uh, filter looking guy here. Push this out of the way if you want right now. And after that, this is what I was telling my friend. And the right way or the wrong way doesn't matter. So originally what I wanted to do was put my weiss on this guy. And you see that? How simple that was, Mr. My Friend. So, putting a white grip and just turn this baby. A couple of turn, turn, turns. And I really didn't have to take out those two millimeters, but uh, it is what it is. If you could take the whole thing apart. So this is a little screw I just took off. It's a tiny looking little screw. And there's oh there has another vacuum line so that is a wrong valve so anyway we already did the work so i'm gonna get the correct valve it has another port here uh okay so i'm not understanding okay this guy set me he set me a valve for this guy right here which goes to the runner valve here <laughs> crazy freaking guy the parts guy is for crazy i should have looked at it first but anyways you guys got the process put the screw back in put the two vacuum lines and a connector in you're all done put the car on bada bing bada boom i'm gonna have a talk with the parts guy but um replace this baby and that's it that's how simple it was okay three vacuum lines oh and i did forget the vacuum line that's coming from over here anyways uh that's it i'm sorry guys but that's what it is Sometimes you run into problems like that.